wonderfully made God's good creation. Today, God made everything. Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey. Welcome to Black Hawk Kids. Let's learn about God and the beautiful world that he created. Get ready because we're going to sing songs to God, hear a true story from the Bible, pray together, and practice our Bible verse. Here we go. Stand up. Let's worship God with singing. for the Bible. Do you know what creation means? Something that is made or formed or shaped is a creation. We could create a poem or a drawing or a chocolate cake. When we read the Bible on the very first page of the very first book, we can read the story of creation. And this is when God created or made everything. Watch this video that explains how God made everything from the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. 
On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper. So God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Uh -oh. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, man. the birds in the sky, Hello, man. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Who made everything? God made everything. But why did God create this world and everything in it? Love. God loves us, his most special creation. So he made a place for us to live. He made this world so that we would have food to eat and water to drink and sun to give us light during the day. Wow, God sure loves us a whole bunch. I have two pet ferrets, Maisie and Suki. I love them, so I have a nice place for them to live. They have a big cage with fun things to climb, a bowl for food and water, and blankets to make a soft bed for sleeping. I bought all this stuff and I set it up because I want to take good care of my pets and because I love them. Take that love for my pets and multiply it by a million, trillion, billion. And that's how much God loves you and me. When you see something amazing, like a caterpillar that changes into a monarch butterfly or an acorn that grows into a giant oak tree, remember how much God, our creator, loves you. So who made everything? God made everything. Get ready for a fun fact, fun fact, fun fact about creation. Have you ever thought about how your eyes blink? Like this, blink, blink. Your amazing eyes blink to keep your eyes wet. The muscles around your eyes that help you blink are the fastest moving muscles in your whole body. Wow, and do you know how many times a minute you blink? 20, amazing, God did that. Now go ahead and blink. You just heard a fun fact, fun fact, fun fact about creation.
creation. That was fun. Stand up. It's time for our bar movers. Hey, hey. It's time to practice our Bible verse for the month. God has done great and wonderful things. 2 Samuel 7, 23. This is the very last time we'll practice this verse together, and God is worth celebrating. Let's say the verse one last time, shouting for all the world to know, and then let's cheer at the end. Ready? God has done great and wonderful things. 2 Samuel 7, 23. Woohoo! And that's the truth. God has done great and wonderful things. He made you, and He gave us a beautiful world to live in. Look around and thank God for all that He has made. Our time together is almost done. Before we say goodbye, let's pray together and thank God for His wonderful creation. I will say the words out loud, and you can listen and say them in your heart. Close your eyes, be still, and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you would create a beautiful and wonderful world for us to enjoy. We love you, God. And everybody said, amen. Who made everything? God made everything. Have a great week. See you soon. It's time to move and sing to God. Oh